Hello again, everyone. I thought I'd just uh, film a little more while I've got the camera set up. And uh, I was out thrifting uh, Saturday. I call it cruising the thrift stores. <laughs> Me and my SUV, we go shopping. Anyway, I enjoy that. Oh, my goodness. I always think how much fun I have. And I do this mostly by myself. Margie sometimes goes with me. My other daughter sometimes goes. Sometimes we all three go together. But it's mostly me. And I have a lot of fun because nobody can say, don't buy that. <laughs> sometimes I'll think, I shouldn't buy that. But I did. Anyway, this right here was an antique plate I found. Isn't that beautiful? I found a lot of good treasures the other day. But... Some of them are too big to show in a camera. But this one here, I was just excited over that. Isn't that beautiful? I felt spring just popping out everywhere when I found that. Now, where I'm going to display it in my house, I don't know. I might just fix a stand here in my bed, in my, uh, not my craft, my craft room, not my bedroom. I nearly said bedroom. Uh, it would go real pretty in my bedroom because I carry a lot of green in there. Maybe I'll do it in there. Ah, it made me think about that. Anyway, while I was waiting for the other video to upload, which just took a oh, just a few minutes compared to two or three hours off of YouTube when I tried to upload it on there, oh, I made this little scrappy, uh, oh, uh, floppy, <laughs> scrappy floppy <laughs> flower. I've had this stuff, uh, my sister gave me a bunch of this stringer. I was going to stamp on it. It's a uh, beautiful material. Anyway, she got it somewhere one time when she was out uh, thrifting, and she knew I was into all that, so she gave me a bunch of stuff, and I haven't put it together yet, but I did, uh, so I have to kind of hold it. I haven't glued it down. I don't know whether I'm going to use the pink rosette or whether I'll use something else, and I'm going to add more uh, dangles to the bottom of it. But isn't that pretty? I've been wanting to make some of them floppy bows. <laughs> that fell off because I was just stuck that on there. <laughs> that came off of a very vintage old uh, piece of uh, fabric that I have. Anyway, so I'll show you what I made that with. As far as you said, you're using your tools. <laughs> This thing here, I found it a long time ago at the Goodwill, and I have never used it, but I have used it twice now, and I think I'm going to thoroughly have fun with this, because it was uh, something they came up with to make those little kids' bows, And uh, but I saw people using it, making these big old floppy bows. So that, of course, I think they had a great big one. This is a, t this is a smaller one. I'll be looking for the bigger one now. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> this one did fine. Anyway, I made this with it the other day. See all that lace at the bottom? I just made this dangle lace. Now, uh, the little flower, I'm not real sure who made that for me, but somebody did. And I added this pearl to it and just added it to the back of this uh, scrappy piece of uh, cheesecloth. And that'll go pretty. I even thought it would be pretty on this, but... I, after I put it up there, I didn't like it. Anyway, so uh, let's see. Where am I going to go now? I got to get busy. Uh, I think I'll show these sacks that I've been doing. This one here, of course, I made it because it was the green last week. And uh, I saw this with, uh, now here again, I didn't write down her name, but her first name is Sabrina, and she used to be... Uh, Crafty Savvy? She may still be Crafty Savvy. I don't know. I think I think her. she changed her YouTube name. I may be wrong, but I'll leave a link to her video. She showed where she was cutting windows out of these sacks. Well, I couldn't do it. Mine didn't work. <laughs> it got too. I had it in there, and all of a sudden I went, oh my gosh, I cut it. I must have hit it with the thing, and it made a hole in it. Well, so I just stuck this tag cut that out straight, stuck that tag down in there, isn't that pretty? And then added a piece of scrapbook paper to the back to cover up that hole that didn't work, and then I had this uh, piece of little scrapbook paper that I added there. And this right here is just some old, old uh, scrappy. I tore an old oily up, and oh, I thought that turned, 
I've used it used it lots in my dangles and such, but it just fit perfect. And there was the little flower I cut out of there. <laughs> and then I found this little piece of uh, uh, green. I bought some real pretty uh, uh, trim one time, and, it, and I think I got it from Julie. And her store is on Zibit, and I can't think. Uh, Thrifty Garden. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. <laughs> Especially when it comes to those names, you can't remember them. I know her. She's not been on YouTube in a long time. I really miss her. Anyway, I still go to her store every once in a while and buy something from her, but I bought that a long time ago from her. And anyway, this little sack here, I found this. It was like a, it was like a paper bag. I might have got something in it. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to make a journal up, like I said, that's going to be a sewing journal. So I've kind of started a few things. And this is one of my snippets. love making those snippets. Just, I keep saying I'm going to make a big snippet roll, but I just make the snippets and find a place to st stick them. And then I just stained up this bag a little bit more and added this. Uh, this was a stamp, and I stamped that on there. So I love this stamp. Anyway, I thought that turned out real cute. And I haven't got anything in that bag because I'm not ready to use it. And this one here... I uh, made, and Margie did a tutorial on uh, doing the, uh, I don't know, I was playing around. There was some uh, cupcake liners laying on my uh, table, and I had seen that done uh, with different people had used them for different things to make, uh, oh, uh, goodness, like those, use them can't think what that's called. Anyway, forget it. <laughs> this is a, this was actually a envelope sack, an envelope here. On the, I mean, it was something on the front of this that was at one of my, it was a shower thing, and I just saved it and added more to it. I think it's got the, it, it's pasted on now, so you can't see it to one of my granddaughters when they got married. And uh, I just stuck a piece of scrapbook paper down in there. She looked like she fit real good in there. I love that scrap of paper. Oh my goodness. But look at this little lady on the front of here. I think I got this from Alice, but I added some more stuff to this. Anyway, I haven't seen Alice on YouTube either. She's, well, I don't know. So anyway, these are just snippets that I've cut off a little uh, bit of uh, eyelash trim and I just wrapped it around in there. Ooh, that kind of looked, huh, that kinda made me drunk. Anyway, so uh, I took that, uh, Margie's got a tutorial how I showed how I did it, and I stamped all over it with my favorite stamp. It's two together, and uh, I just cut each little, I think I, I cut in the, I called it the valley, <laughs> of the, and it just turned out so pretty, I thought. So I just got going there. It's kind of like, well, I may not ever make another one, but anyway, I made one. <laughs> I think Margie's used them in her scrapbooks. And she's got some beautiful ones for sale right now. I think she sold one of them, but she's got some beautiful ones for sale. And she's got some on sale that she didn't sell. And she's putting them on sale. Anyway, might go check her uh, channel out. I'll put things down below. And this was here, a uh, money envelope. I get these at Christmas and stick money in them for my children for Christmas. I have a bunch of them. That's the way I do my gifts now. And I hand them to them. Oh, there's your gift. <laughs> Saves me a lot of trouble. And, and then I don't even have to go get those uh, gift cards. I just tell them to go buy their own gift. And anyway, they think that's funny. But I just took one of those little gift. Uh, had the, already the cutout. So I just added that little cute. I had that in my just my stuff I had downloaded and stained it up. I don't have anything in there. That's I actually uh, glued that so it'd stay put. And then I just cut uh, out of uh, a piece of paper, uh, just, you know, one of those punches. And then I added just all this little bitty trims. And I think this is, uh, 
this is both uh i think that's both the uh, oh let's see uh that what do we call that i can't even think of the name of that either holler at me somebody <laughs> i have a gob of this stuff uh goodness can't think of the name of it well that's okay but anyway the eyelash trim and then, of course, this is Tim Hope's Paper Dolls. I heard, uh, I just read the other day where he had major surgery on his heart. So he's recovering from that. And I I just heard that. So I pray he gets okay because he's been such a blessing to the ones that want to buy things that he always comes up with. I've loved his Paper Dolls. I think I've loved the Paper Dolls. I've liked a lot of things he's done, but that Paper Dolls I really like. Here's another, no, I just showed that sack. Um, I think that was all my sacks. But here's another paper clip. I'll show it because i got a little time. I um, have it on this page because I was piddling with that page and curling it. It's just a, just sewed it. Got it ready to go in a book and I just stuck this on there. Let me get the black. Maybe it'll show it better on the black. Oh, goodness, dropped it on the floor. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, probably hit the camera. Uh, is that coming in very good? Anyway, maybe it's focusing. Uh, now, it says I'm uploading off of my iPad. It's not doing H. What's that? HD? Uh, but it won't do that. Sometimes if it's connected real good to my Wi-Fi, it will. But when I'm in this craft room, it didn't do that. So they may be a little blurry. Who knows? Anyway, I just thought that was cute. This was just a piece of something that I had gotten a long time ago. You know, those packs of stuff. And I stuck that little boy on there with his little dog. I stuck the little dog on there, and that's just some cheesecloth. I thought that was cute. And this is another one I made. But... <clears throat> I bought, not bought, but I had this picture downloaded in my, and I just, just was going to make a, one of those circle things with it, but decided, uh, put it under something, and I decided just to use it on this. Anyway, and that's one of my new stamps. Cute as a button. I think I told about the stamps that uh, Angie Bunner, I think that's Bun, Bunsen, Bun, I believe it's Sun on the end. I'm not sure. I don't know why I said Bunner the other day, but I think it's Bun's son. Anyway, she made some of the cutest stuff up, and she showed these stamps. And she the ones that she showed had vintage finds, vintage, and I just loved it because everything is written out in cursi, and so some of it is printed, I mean, like regular. But I flipped, and I went and looked for that, and I finally got it this year. I saw it a couple of years ago. I think I told that in the last video. Let's see what else I've got here. Nothing else I've got handy. So I will close on that and uh, let you look at these little flowers better. So they'll be my ending of my video. Oh, yeah, there's my create. Let's create, y'all. All right, y'all stay extra safe in Jesus. And I will be back with another video because I've got those journals I want to 